Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. So this week's recipe is this super chunky and delicious crock pot beef stew. So if you'd like to see what you need and how to make it, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video all about budget food. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also bookmark the page, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. So to make this homemade beef stew, you're obviously going to need some kind of meat if you're going to add that. I have some stewing beef right here. I've got one and a half pounds, so I'm going to be using half of a package. Um, I got some Campbell's Slow Cooker Beef Stew Sauce. Never tried this. The guy in uh, Kroger said this was really, really good and recommended it, so I did pick it up. I have a bag of the Petite Medley Potatoes. Um, I have a bag of carrot chips, and I also have this cute, adorable bag of red boiler onions. So, yeah, it's going to be a hefty stew, which is perfect because it's a little bit chilly. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off off camera. I'm going to be washing my potatoes, and uh, yeah, I guess that's going to be where I'm starting. Okay, so while my potatoes are draining, I'm going to go ahead and start this beef. I'm just going to be searing. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a light sear. So. Like I said, I'm going to be using half of the package. I'm going to freeze the other half. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on to medium. I'm just going to let it do its thing for a minute. Okay, so sorry, I thought I was recording. Um, I've been chopping potatoes, so I've been just cutting them in quarters because I want everything a uniform size. Um, but I think we're going to just do a few more potatoes and I think we're going to be good. but that's how many potatoes we have right now. I think we're good. My meat is just searing, so almost done. So we're gonna go ahead and do our little onions, and I'm just gonna be cutting those in half. I'm gonna be throwing these out in the park for some birds. Okay, I'm turning my meat off. So I just wanna sear, I don't wanna cook it all the way through. I want it to stay tender, and I want it to finish cooking in the crock pot. Okay, so I've never dealt with these, but I did the potatoes first, that way I didn't have onion skin everywhere. But they're pretty cute. I mean... I've never cooked with these before. Let me know down below in the comments if you've ever cooked with uh, purple boiler potatoes. I would love to know. We have a roast up in the freezer. That Sean's brother gave us for the holidays from their it was their own cow right yeah he said yes I've never had that type of meat before like from a farm well I okay I'm not one of these stupid people I know that meat comes from a farm but I've never Sean what am I trying to say he's like I don't know what you're trying to say Kim you're crazy okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and chop the onion in half Yes, I've never had, I've never had one that wasn't mass produced. There we go. Okay, so those are. Look at these, Sean. They're so cute. <laughs> They're just a little baby onion. So I'm gonna go ahead and just toss those in there. But um, yeah, I think a roast in the oven with uh, some of these little boiler potatoes whole would be really, really. Ooh, I got. Uh, I bought cooking sherry. Sorry, I'm kind of all over the place. But I bought cooking sherry for the first time. I think. Um, some of these little onions like sauteed in cooking sherry um, with the roast. That would be really, really good. And yeah, these are adorable and they were a dollar, so I couldn't I couldn't pass them up. Well, I mean I guess I could have, but I didn't want to. Okay, so here is my onions and potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and add some carrots next. 
maybe if I can open up the bag. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and just add a handful. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and add our beef and I'm going to go ahead and add the juice because why not? Next is going to be the Campbell Slow Cooker Sauce. So, I hope this is good because it was like three something. It was not cheap. Oh, okay, that does smell pretty good. like a half a bag of water just because okay here we go and then I'm just gonna get my spoon and then just go ahead and stir this all together so it is 11:54, so right before noon I'm planning on eating around five or six so this is gonna be on low and then we're just gonna let this mingle to know each other, and uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna be making croissants to go with it. it smells good though already. Okay, there we go. Okay, let me go ahead and put the lid on. really really want for my kitchen one of those spoon holders okay, there we go there we go so I'll see you here in probably a few hours we'll check to see how it's looking and then uh well I'll show you what it's gonna look like when we're ready to dish up and eat okay so the stew is done and it looks so good but let's go ahead and dish up I am excited so I already snuck a bite and uh, the crock pot um, beef stew uh, really really good uh, the uh, the sauce packet was super super good I definitely recommend it um, if you are looking for an easy and delicious fast meal like prep wise definitely recommend doing a crock pot beef stew it is just so so good like oh my gosh delicious but anyway, um, there we go. I hope you enjoyed this week's recipe. If you did, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it. Let me know down below in the comments um, when's the last time you made beef stew, because I know it had been a while for me. And uh, don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all at Budget Glam Babe. Don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. Or you can always click on one of the ones. They'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah. I'll see you here in just a sec.